Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm finished the ensuite bathroom in my diorama. I still have lots to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is create a cubby hole for shampoo bottles in the shower. I'm going to insert this matchbox, so it should be easy. The matchbox is kind of flimsy and the corners are not too straight, so I'm just going to glue on a piece of cardboard to the back. And then more of the wine insert cardboard inside the cubby hole. I'm painting a small skewer white so I can apply it around the cubby hole. I'm also creating another hole for this piece of round wood into the shower. My cubby hole install was kind of messy so I'm going to apply some of this spackling. I think I should have created the cubby hole first before applying the brick to the wall. It would look a lot cleaner. Lesson learned! Now I'm painting some balsa wood black to add a trim around the shower glass. I measured the wrong side when cutting the trim. Now I'm hoping I have enough painted to cover all the sides.
I'm using craft sticks to trim the doorway. I'm not going to worry about the door. This is an ensuite next to the bedroom. Okay, I'm just too lazy right now to make one, but I think it'll work without it. Watch to the end to see how it looks. I do want to create a powder room diorama, so I will definitely make a door for that one. What do you think? I'm going to create a shower pan. I really don't like using this adhesive shelf paper. My first try was a fail because of all the wrinkles. I couldn't get them out. Luckily, it was easy to pull off. I tried it again, and again I failed. So I went to my paper stash to find something else. I found some white shelf paper, maybe I'll have better luck. Ooh, I didn't notice you can see the checkered flooring through the paper. Maybe if I tried another roll of the marble paper, it would look better. Nope, too bad because the application was perfect. But I should have noticed the first time I applied it. I wasn't paying attention. So I'm going to apply the shelf paper to a piece of old cereal box. Then I painted more balsa wood white so I can trim out the shower pan.
For the shower drain, I'm just going to find a sticker to create it to keep it simple. There, that looks pretty good. I want the inside of the vanity to look cute as well, plus I'm adding some plumbing. I bought these glow sticks at the dollar store. I thought they would work for the plumbing, but they were too hard to twist. So I'm using the straw and this thingamajiggy thing I had laying around. Then I sponged on some paint onto the sink. There was a small white spot that was bothering me. Now I need toilet paper.
And to hold the toilet paper, I need a toilet paper holder. I'm going to keep it simple with this piece of wood and some wire. I love how the vanity turned out. What do you think? Now I need a new mirror. I'm using this round wood piece I got from the dollar store and staining it the same color as the vanity. I think a shelf will look great over the toilet, but I want it to reach the mirror. First I measure my wood piece against the toilet, so I can cut it the right size. I found a huge bin of these wood pieces at a garage sale. I'm gluing the dowels to each side to hold the shelves. I don't want to glue them to the wall because I want to make it easy to fold the box to store away. They're not perfect, but they'll work. Ooh, I don't like how it looks over the toilet. Looks kind of big. So I'll hang them over here on this wall. I think art over the toilet will look better. I want to add some items inside the vanity, but I think I need a couple of baskets. 
I'm using coffee stir sticks, this paint stick, and dowels to make the baskets. Perfect. Now I can store away my toilet paper and other toiletries I found in my Barbie stash. Now for the art. Some free art would be great. So I went to the Met's website. There's a section of public domain images you can download for free. I want to add some blue in my bathroom, so I searched for ocean, beach, scenes, etc. I printed my images at Staples. It only cost me 65 cents. Then I glued the page onto a piece of foam board. After it was dry, I cut the images and then painted some coffee stir sticks so I can use as the frame.
I love how the art turned out. Now I need a towel bar. I'm using this dowel and to hold the bar, I'm using these eye light hooks. I can just screw it into the wall. I think this fabric will look really cool as the towel. I painted the soap dispenser from my Barbie stash black. I'm making some vases with these beads I took from an abacus I thrifted. And for one of the vases, I'm using this wired leaf garland from the dollar store. And some other plastic plants for the other vase. Do you know what I need now? I need a toilet brush. I found this at the thrift store. I think it's a belt, so I took it apart. And the beads are perfect with this little wire brush. And to create a handle, I just use some foam. I love it when it's easy. Now for the final touches. Big thanks to my mom for crocheting the rugs. I think I need a new light. The other one wasn't bright enough for the bathroom. I had this really bright clip-on light. I think will be perfect. I just need to make something to hold it. I have this plastic container that had these coasters in it that I thrifted. I'm so happy I didn't throw it away. I knew it would be useful. I'm cutting out the cardboard at the bottom and then a piece of plastic to put in it to hold the light.
I'm giving the light fixture the same look as the first one. Maybe it's too big, what do you think? Now I need some outlets. Perfect. Bathroom is finished. Oh wait, one more thing. I think the toilet needs some water. I love how this bathroom turned out. Please tell me what you think down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Bye for now.